Hey everyone, in this tutorial video for the Rigging Toolbox 2, I wanted to cover the process of rigging the character for animation. So at this point, we have our skeleton set up, we have all of our controls created, and we've customized them with some colors and some different uh, shapes, different changes. We've offset some of them, scaled some of them. Now I want to move on to the rigging process. So you can see at this point in the outliner, we have a single hierarchy skeleton and we have a lot of controls. Each control has a additional transform node, which captures the rotation and the translation, which gives us a clean control that we'll be setting the keyframes on when we animate. So in the rigging section here, we have some options. We can rig just arms, just legs, or just the spine. If you're just doing a bunch of arms, all you have to do is just build the arms, just build controls for the arms, and only select the arms option in here. Same thing for legs. We have a stretchy IK option. We have forward kinematic locks, which will keep us from moving or scaling the FK controls, like the elbows and the wrists. And for legs, we have the same options, plus a custom heel toe option. And if I wanted to do a custom heel toe option, I can turn this on and I can generate four locators, which I will then position at the corners of the mesh. So this is an arbitrary representation of a foot. If I had an actual mesh, we would have an actual mesh in here. And I would want the pivot point for the foot roll setup to work based on the heel and the toe of the mesh. So for this demonstration, we'll do that. And we'll position these locators. We'll turn that on to object. And I'll just kind of guess where the points of the mesh would be. Okay, um, again, FK lock options for the spine. I'll turn those off. Control groups, as you can see, we have a lot of controls over here. Control groups will um, consolidate those into groups. And then master control will consolidate those further into a master control. And you cannot um, just use a master control. So if you have control groups, the master control is an option. And that requires this object here, which has the naming convention underscore rig underscore master. Okay, at this point, I'm ready to rig. Just press construct rig. And you can see that all of the controls are consolidated into spine, arm, and leg groups. We have one master control And we have our character is rigged. With the foot roll set up for the legs. And that's making use of where we put that locator at the toe. And the heel does the same thing. All of the legs, however many you have, have IKFK visibility attributes and IKFK switch attributes, which also set the visibility automatically. The arm has the same options. The arm defaults to FK, the legs default to IK. There's a hip setup and we have stretchy IK. For all of the arms and the legs, because that's an option that I chose. Okay, so that's it. It's important to take the time to set your skeleton up properly. Make sure your controls are properly aligned. And the rigging is a very smooth and rapid process. Thanks for watching.